focus. Why are you afraid? The storm in today's gospel must have been exceptionally fierce to frighten the disciples. Those very experienced, sturdy fishermen who in their panic felt Jesus was unconcerned about their predicament. Jesus rebuked them for their fear and questioned their lack of faith. He expected them to have faith in Him for they knew Him well and had seen the wonders He worked. Once at the height of the pandemic, I awoke with a cough, congestion in the chest and some breathlessness. I panicked for a few moments and thought I was infected with COVID-19. As I struggled with fearful thoughts, I searched online for treatment. At the moment, I felt a voice in my heart questioning my fear. As I prayed, my anxiety gradually vanished. After some medication, I was fine. In times of agony, distress and misery, we often forget our God is with us and that He does what is best for us. We only need to turn to Him in faith. It is said that the Bible exhausts us not to fear 365 times, once for each day of the year. However, if a little tossing of our boat in the journey of life sends us into panic mode, then we too need to question our faith. Fear is a sign of lack of faith in God. Faith always drives away fear. Fruit, I will build, nourish and sustain my faith on the word of God.